it's a cross-section of stakeholders who have been brought together, you know, first of all, to get to know what we are planning and also to take to get their, their views. You know, I was in Group 4 on security, uh, uh, tourism and the creative arts. And you could see that the chiefs were involved. Everybody was very actively participating in making some suggestions as to what should get into the manifestos and what politicians should be thinking about in terms of development of the North. We are looking to send a message to the politicians that we have a stake in whatever they are doing and would like to have our views reflected in their manifestos so that we know when the people are sufficiently informed and they go to the voting booth, they can make an intelligent choice. You go to primary sex, you go to Jesus, and children can hardly read. So what programs are we going to put in place? What programs are political parties going to, place, to put in place to ensure that our children develop some competences so that by the time that they reach where they are going to write exams, they will be able to compete favorably with those in other places that are endowed. Most people wanted to see improvement in the education area in Northern Ghana. In terms of health, they want better conditions for nurses and doctors who are working in deprived areas. They also want improved facilities in northern Ghana. In terms of infrastructure, they want to see railways connecting the northern part of Ghana to the southern part of Ghana and also um, to make it easy for them to be able to transport farm products. Um, in terms of peace and security, you'd realize that um, a lot of lessons have been learned from the just ended Dagbon conflict. And so they are actually um, very happy about it and they are looking forward to promoting peace however way they can. For our educational system, most of us from Northern Region here, Upper East, all the five Northern Regions, we do travel far away to the South for education, which we could have had it over here. So we have most technical universities. Uh, we have Takurade Technical University, and that is where deaf people access education. If past governments were to focus on this, Northern Region would have also have our share of that. We have made some input regarding climate change, and I was particularly happy about uh, this input that government should come out to see or future governments should try to see how they can regulate the use of chemicals. This will go a long way to help agricultural productivity. I've been practicing as a media person for well over 15 years. This is the first ever discussion that has got to do with sensitive issues like security, education, health, and I didn't hear all in one place, all in one place but without political undertones that the agenda is to get us to the promised land, irrespective of who is in power. Even though we've not uh, seen what the politicians would do, whether they will accept what we have said and what we have requested, we are not yet sure. But I think I have voiced out some of the problems we think uh, they should do to assist us. This is a good start that you know whatever development you are bringing whatever politics or whatever ideas you are bringing must come from the people because these are the ones you are going to serve these are the ones your development intervention is going to serve i believe that with what has happened today i bet if they hear the, the kind of stakeholders that have come here issues that have come, the political parties you know what, if, uh, what has happened in here, the kind of stakeholders they will set up. And as we've discussed, we will need to really use a lot of you know, strategies to ensure that we get their attention. From the conversations we had with various stakeholders in Bulgawa and in Tamale, we've realized that um, there is so much passion and they are longing to see change in Northern Ghana. So um, Star Ghana is very happy to have provided a platform for this to have happened.
this is the first time I've attended a program um, elsewhere in the region asking the input of um, stakeholders in the manifestos of political parties and it has been a very great um, thing for me to experience as much as possible and I'm happy that in almost all the politicians were invited to this forum to make it a point that any time they mount their political platforms to uh, encourage people to vote for them they should have it at the back of their mind to preach peace because if there is no peace there is no development okay. so the long and short of it is that they should preach peace alongside encouraging people to vote for them to win the fact that uh, we have potentials in the north here that uh, people are not aware of today it has been brought to light and what the program sought to do is to make sure that it is included in all the manifestos of the political parties. And that is to throw more light on the fact that there are so many potential areas in the North here which other people are not aware of. Today, we meet here as stakeholders with interest in democracy and good governance to prescribe the interventions needed to transform Northern Ghana positively. Infrastructure is everything. In terms of last 2019, in terms of foreign direct investment into Ghana, only 1% of foreign direct investment came to Northern Ghana in terms of people wanting to invest. It's all not because there are no opportunities here. There are many of things that because of infrastructure, the roads and all these kind of things. So infrastructure drives investment. So if you don't pay mostly the whole of critical infrastructure, then somebody with money in America what I consider to be of a great concern is the attitude of people. What I think Northern Development Forum should also be working on is ways and means of changing the attitude of our people so that we can uh, facilitate our development. Otherwise, if the political parties initiate those development projects, uh, uh, initiatives that we have proposed, and we are ourselves not prepared to support because of, uh, we see it to be something that government is doing, we have to first of all identify, uh, get all of us to identify and to buy the idea that Whatever is happening is for our common good and we must change our attitude. It is a unique uh, platform because it has brought together uh, traditional authorities, teachers, health workers, uh, youth, women, uh, activists, and uh, when you are talking about development and these people are missing, then uh, you haven't got it right. There is no region in the north that does this to influence policy. This is the first that, and it's good that the northern sector is championing. This is the first time that before the manifesto or before the policy, they say these are oppositions. All other regions are waiting to see what comes of the manifesto. Meanwhile, the manifesto are developed by a group of so-called experts, but they are limited in their number and their scale. Experience has shown us that political parties are very faithful to their manifestos. And so it is, it is, it is, it is important that we should ensure that our issues are in the manifestos of the parties before we go to elections so that when a party wins elections our issues are already reflected in their manifestos and then we have some guarantee that these issues will be implemented it's good to have a dream but it's not good to daydream so we are, we think we are just coming to help one another understand the tax we have had long ago and how to go about solving it. 
Communication is very important as far as development, as far as peace, as far as other activities are concerned. So I will want to say that what we have learned here, they should try and communicate with us, communicate with others, so that the knowledge that we have learned here should not be within us alone, but it should be sent to others so that they can also know what we are doing. It's very obvious that the northern part of Ghana is underdeveloped, and so there is a need for, for um, us to talk about it and also create awareness and make sure that we bring development to the northern part of Ghana. That means this should not be the end of uh, pushing the platform, but it should be a way of getting the political parties committed to implement these uh, uh, issues. The governing council of Star Ghana and, and the, the leadership of Star Ghana are very committed. They are committed to making sure that this happens and so we will keep the conversation going and um, at the end of the day we want to see that development comes to northern part of Ghana.